Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Afternoon folks, I'm at Glencoe Visitor Centre, Tuesday the 28th of February. I'm with Stevie and we're heading up there. That's the target for the day, the camp up there. It's a, it's a Corbett. I'll write the name on the screen. There's Stevie there. Right, I'll get back to you on the trail. Just a short intro. Lovely view. Uh, we are heading up here. Here's the pap, pap of Glencoe. That's an impressive rock, as if you've already seen that one. I think there'll be a lot of views in this hike. There'll be a lot of views in this hike. Here's a view of Stevie. Water source there. Absolutely lovely day. I think I've got too much layers on. To be honest, <laughs> I might be stripping off in 10 minutes, take another layer off. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, I've got a new tent, going up from America. So, you'll be seeing a new tent, I'm not going to get any in my way yet. You need to wait and see. Still walking on this road. Right. So we're not on the hill yet. <laughs> it's not too bad. I think it's 2,600 feet, something like that. I'm not sure. Up there, not too bad. Seems like a very, well, basically a zigzag again, snaky, zigzaggy hike so far. Ah, you can see the zigzag up and around. Here's the target up there. We are walking in the opposite direction. That we obviously cut back. Switchback, I think they call them in America. It's a switchback. Too many views. Can't help it. Fantastic. Glencoe. I've been out with Stevie for a long time. Seems like a long time. I carry two litres up, so I don't need water. We must be coming to the end of this road. Stevie sees this road's known as uh, this bit of the road's known as map. He's got a map on his phone. This must be a new road. But anyway, we're heading up. We're actually heading probably the opposite direction. Still, but we'll obviously swing around. I think we'll... There's a ridge there. 
We need to go in the ridge soon. <laughs> yeah, there's a ridge. So we might swing around. I can still see the road swinging up. So we'll probably follow the follow the road for another five, ten minutes, maybe less, and then get on the hill, get on the ridge. I think it's basically a ridge walk once we get off of this road. So I think I heard Stevie say that we're not even halfway up yet. <laughs> and we'll get there. We've got a long way for a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice day. Nice day, killing time, Ed. Ah, I can We never brought any beers either, so we'll just be twiddling our thumbs when we get to the summit. Well, Stevie says it's fantastic views, so... And we might get a, a nice night as well. The Northern Lights has been happening in the last few nights. So we might have missed it with a night, but never mind. We'll see what happens. We might strike gold. Right, we're going to head back down soon in this road, so we need to turn off here somewhere. And head up there. We're off the road. We're off the road at last. I'm doing the steep bit now before we get in the ridge. This is a hard work, this bit. Check that view. That's the first proper climb I've done for a long time. Stevie's up. He's done a, quite a lot with his dogs. If you follow Stevie, there's a lot of summits with the, with the dogs, but my health fitness is zero. I'll get there. I'll get there. A deer fence all the way up. But thankfully, there's a gate. Not that far to go to the ridge. There's Stevie, I think. Ah, it's Stevie. Top of something now. Great stuff. Another sweep, why not? Look at that. This would be a nice place to camp. Up here. Up there. Up there. Not as far as it looks in this camera. That was a struggle. To get up there. On the ridge now. What a struggle. As I say, I've not been out. Well, I've not done, I mean, I've been out, but this is the first proper hill I've done. For ages. Anyway, I've made it. That's the hard work done, or the harder work. Still got a wee bit of walking to do. It. I'll get there, as I always say. This way. Past the crags, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, definitely past the crags somewhere. I'm a good height up now. Yeah, so that was a good hike at the crags. That's me on the crags. Let's have a look at the other side. Eh? The view from the other side.
Right, good stuff. Just need to find Stevie now. I think he's up there. Hope he's up there somewhere. I mean, that seems like the highest point from here. I don't think it is, but it just seems like it from here, doesn't it? I think we're heading slightly down that way. Never mind. Let's go for it. I can feel the... I'm getting reminded it's winter still. A wee bit of wind. I'm getting a wee bit... Colder now, it's definitely cooling down a lot. As soon as I stop, I'll get another sort of layer on. Yeah, Stevie down there, so I'll just head, I'll just head down that way. That'll be the pitch spot. Hope was a, hope there's two good pitch spots. I know one good one and one crap one. Right, as you can see. We're layering up. There's a the view from the pitch spot. Fantastic. Great views all the way up. Right, I'm getting cold folks, so I need to put the camera away for 10 minutes, get stuff sorted. Right folks, it's getting dark. It's getting a wee bit dark for this camera, that's for sure. But there's the new tent. Stormstar. Ku, I think you pronounce it. Ku Stormstar. Donna Van Senior Tent. That's where I first saw it on Donna's channel. I don't have the doors guide out. I'm not going to bother because uh, it is turned a bit cold. And my hands were freezing, so I'm just going to leave the doors. That's the first time I've had a look at it. And the first pitch I've done. I usually. Do a, a practice pitch before I take it anywhere, which is what you should do. You should get the tent pitched in a garden or something, or a wee bit of grass before you take it anywhere, but unfortunately I didn't have the chance, so that was my first pitch. So I'll get used to it. It took me a couple of pitches, I would say about three pitches to get the scarp one right with the corners. There's a certain way you need to angle the struts. If you've got a scarp, scarp one, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it'll take me a couple of pitches to get this decent. As I say, I'm not going to bother with the guy in at the doors. First impressions, it's a good size. It's not too bad a weight for the size and it just feels very strong. It's a strong design, very strong design. As I say, I'll get used to it. Stevie was supposed to bring his new shelter, he's got a, a Jumid, but he just, uh, he had something today, wasn't he, again it wasn't he, sort of fixed, I don't know, something with, about guy lines or bungees or something in the inner, so he just ended up bringing up, bringing these solo, Ellenberg solo, probably best to done, it would be a bit cold to start fiddling about with. <laughs> Cords and that. That is a cold wind. Ah, as I've already said, that was a hard hoof up. It's pretty steep, and it was the ground oh, just sinking in. You know, not very. That's cheviot ground, as I, I would think of that. Cheviots is a lot like that. It's hard walking in the cheviots. Have you been to the cheviots? A lot of places in there is what I'd call hard walking. But anyway. We made it from here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my my hands are shaking. I know the camera's shaking, but my hands are shaking with the cold. Uh, I'm gonna set my sleep system up. Get in the tent. Get away from the, the cold wind for a wee bit. It's hot chocolate time. What are you having, Stevie? What are you having? Coffee? Aye, coffee, aye. Coffee, fuck Stevie. Ten past nine. <clears throat> That's me settled in my tent. Ah, we're not going to get any aurora the night, I doubt. Uh, I never came out for that. Just came out for a wee camp. Try my new tent. Literally the first time I 
pitched it and seen it. Uh, I can't really see anything about it, uh, you know, till I, I use it a few times. I need to use it a few times. First impressions. I did my research and I watched, I watched a lot of Donna's videos. She's got the, she's got the set, you know, Storm Star and the Mountain Star and I can't remember what the other one's called. But anyway, it's uh, certainly a great size for one. Two is, is doable. Great size for one. It's not too heavy. I'm just saying that just, you know, when I got got the tent and I picked it up, I thought, oh, that's okay. It's just, just about the same weight as my Solo with my footprint. I would say it's about the same weight as a Solo if you've got the footprint. So that's not too bad. For other size, you get two doors two porches. It's also it's a very strong design with the the cross points. I actually got a tent I've never used uh, a Transio 2 and that's got similar that's a that's a you know an expedition tent. It's about six kilograms or something that tent. Uh, but this is a it's a it's a very strong design this tent. <coughs> so I'll give you more opinions after I've used it a few times, but uh, first impressions are very favourable. And uh, oh, I'm not, probably not going to be out for four weeks. You know, my sister's on holiday, so as, uh, as I've said, I need to look after my dad every day. So uh, probably about four weeks before I get out again. But this is another option in case people are thinking, why did I get this? It's not, rep it's not to replace any tent. I, I never sold any tent to get this, which is what I usually do. I usually sell and then buy. But this is another, this is an alternative to the, the Scarp 1 and the Solo. It's probably an alternative to the Solo because the Scarp 1 is a bit lighter. That's about 1.5 kilograms. So that's, that is probably... Uh, you know, one option, and then either the solo and or the this storm star. You know, I, I, maybe doing the similar job now. I don't think I'd, I, I don't think I'd sell my solo, but equally, I'm, I, <laughs> I think I'll probably keep this as well. You know, I'll not be selling it. I think that's I've got my tents. I'll keep the uh, this and. Uh, Solo and the scarp, and I can decide in trips, winter trips, what I'm taking. Depends on how long the hike is. You know, this is the heaviest. I'm going to get a footprint, so it is going to be like over. It's probably going to real world weight. It's going to be about three kilograms, and the the solo is about two and a half, two six, and then the scarp is maybe just over two kilograms, real weight. So, not that much difference really if you take it individually, but everything adds up when you start thinking about taking heavier things, heavier this and heavier that, and it soon adds up. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Ah, uh, so wind's getting up a wee bit. Right, I'll just leave it there and I'll. Hopefully it'll be a nice morning and I'll get some, get some footage of where we are. 6.50. So I wake since 5, about 5, uh, 5 a.m. It was too early to start here, and, you know, at that time. So I'm just getting, beginning to get sorted. That's a bit frosty this morning. Uh, it's getting light, so once I get to the tent, I'll show you get another couple of views. See.
was outside there taking some footage. Uh, it's definitely still winter. It's a freezing wind. Freezing cold wind. <laughs> Steve's away up to the summit to take uh, some uh, footage. I think I'll I'll go up in a minute. As you've seen, we're all packed up. I've been blinded with the sun, but <laughs> uh, it's a biting wind, biting cold wind. So we're just going to go back down the way we came up. We're going to do a circuit, but we're just going to head back down, go to this wind, wind as soon as possible. So it'll be a few, be a while before I do another trip, but four weeks, hopefully. So I'll see you for the next one.